In this video we're going to look at making the next section down, which is actually very similar to this one here. Uh, we just need to switch some of the colours. So we'll go straight back to our HTML, and just like before when we created this section here for the top section, we're going to create a new section tag. It's really important to separate all of these pieces of content using these section tags as it allows us to uh, effectively manipulate the styling with the CSS. So I'm going to give it another class name to distinguish it from the previous one up there. And this one I'm going to call uh, Z170 because that's the name of the, the thing that we're promoting. Close that opening section tag and again we're going to use the same sort of system. We're going to use our H1 tag and um, this is the Z170 series as our heading and then H2 for the subheading. We're going to put in the text that's on the website. Okay, so that's all done. Uh, we just need to add in the image underneath, just like before. I'm going to add my image, source, and we've got the image, and I believe this one is called Z170 Deluxe. Close that image tag, control S to save, and let's check our live preview. And that's worked. So we've got our image in, which does it. We already have that black background, so that makes it nice and easy. And we've got our heading which you can see is formatted exactly the same as that one because we've used the H1 and the H2 headings that we had formatted earlier. So we obviously need to change the background color of that class to black. So we can go to our CSS and let's make the first of our class rules. This time we're going to call the class or we're going to use the full stop and then the name of the class which is Z170 and then from then on it's just the same as any other CSS. So I'm just going to change the background color to black. Check back on our live preview and that's looking good but of course we've lost our text that's up there because that is now the same color as the background. So rather than changing that in the CSS here I could just change it to color white and that would work appropriately. We'd see the, the text that we want to see but actually later on in the website we're going to change some of uh, the other text to white as well. So rather than doing that we can actually make a new class and I'm going to put it in here for the H1. I'm going to call that class equals white. And I'm going to do the same thing in my H2 tag, class equals white. Go back to my styles and I'm going to create a new class rule for white, the one we just made, and put color white in there. Now what this means is anytime we want to uh, have some white text on our page we can just put the CSS class, or the class name rather, in the appropriate element and it will change the text to white. So we don't have to worry about replicating that in all of the different CSS sections that we have. We can just put that class name in and we know that's going to work fine. So you can see it there, it's working perfectly. So that's it for this section, a rather short one because it's just duplicating what we had already set up there and tweaking some of the formatting a little bit. Make sure you've got your, your website up and running just the same as this uh, and tweak it a little bit if you like to make it a little different. Make sure you understand how the class names are working and how all of the different components are working together to create these different sections of the website.